I went to Kerala earlier this year. You know, God's own country. I met some wonderful people, had a taste of the Kerala cuisine, saw beaches, mountains and backwater lakes. Amidst all of this, I found myself in a city that I would eventually fall in love with. Hey, I'm Neil and this is that story. a number of places in india but right off the bat kochi just feels different loud yet simple colors everywhere empty and clean roads and overall just a very relaxed and chilled out vibe i guess that's what the sea does to you And of course, I made a new friend during my time. This is Albin, Albin Miranda, and Albin has had a very interesting life so far. In like 2014, I went to Dubai. You know, our field in Dubai it's like uh, underwater diving, so most of the time we will be in offshore. Albin's hometown is Kochi, and Albin showed us around Kerala. It's in a trip, but as soon as I arrived, I just went for a tour operation, a rescue, close to our place. It's near to the airport. That I, it was like the uh, end of the time. So when the flood was heavy here, uh, I was in Tamil Nadu. So I did my maximum what I can do. Our rescue team, they did a good job. Me too, I hope, but I did. And what's more, we also share a common passion, motorcycles. I'm not interested in the four-stroke bikes. In RD, you said, is it? RD means it's like, uh, you know, RD means it's, we can't say it's a bike, it's a life. Kochi has a lot of churches and cathedrals, and I visited a couple of them during my short stint there. In this one cathedral, though, there was a prayer service going on, and I did not want to interrupt that. So I just sat outside. The sun was just beginning to set for the day. And it was just so peaceful. So peaceful and so comforting that it was quite some time before I realized that I should have gone back to the beach to catch the sunset by there. So we rushed to the beach and we were just in time to witness something that I'll remember for very long. Stakes were higher from the sun. You see, sunsets have always fascinated me. But the sunset that I saw in Kochi was the most dramatic of them came all. Along when you came around, but I made no sound. Birds returning back to their homes, the boats returning back to the shore, the very famous Chinese fishing nets coming down, and the fishermen packing up for the day. Beautiful. Little did I know then that this is not the end of what Kochi had in store for us. When I ask it to see you, but just wanna tell you that I swear I'm fine. I don't lose my mind anymore. It's not a problem, but I Kathakali is a very famous traditional Indian dance native to the southern state of India. What is Kathakali? Just important part in here. Okay, story is. Kalyana Sokhantigam, Mahabharata story. This woman saw, made the woman saw, eyes, muscles from the eyes, lips, neck and bone. Please watching eye movement. These Kathakali dancers who have spent up to 12 years mastering this art left us completely awestruck at the end of the two-hour performance. I swear that I feel I'm fine and this is where the whole on it's just amazing how much and how well you can express without using words. This was Kochi through my eyes. Beautiful, peaceful, amazing. Thanks for watching. Good to see you, but just wanna tell you that I swear I'm fine.